All right, so you've set your goals, you're working hard, you're getting out there on the trail, you've got your little emergency kit, but what if you lose your whistle? Well, we're gonna take a look at what would happen if you found some trash along the way. In this case, because I am trying to get back in shape, I got plenty of these around. So grab your Zoa and let's go. Now, if you're really worried about your knife, you can easily find a sharp rock and just go back and forth, back and forth, scoring until you make a weak spot that'll start to puncture through. If you've got your knife, remember this is the most important part of your knife. But up here, we've got some wiggle room. So, we can grab it like this, and again, just start making score cuts until it penetrates. Still not damaging the knife, and we are getting there. I would recommend this for any of the skills where you could potentially damage your knife. Looking for is a rectangle, about as long from the tip of your booger finger to the knuckle of your booger finger, and about as wide as from this joint to this joint. Okay. Now, once you've got your piece that's roughly as long as your finger and as wide as your first knuckle, We're gonna cut this in half, but not exactly in half. We want one side to be just a smidgen uh, wider than the other. Now, once we get our two pieces, we're gonna lay one piece on top of the other to make this T. And notice that we leave this little lip out here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this side down and the other side down. And if we need to trim this a little bit, we can, or we can just fold it around and over. <laughs> that leaves us with this. Now we're gonna take that little tab we left earlier and fold it away, down and away from us. Giving us this little envelope I we can know, blow air through. I know what we're Trust me, doing. pause for a moment and slide something in there to make a little bit of a space. I would use your my scissors. <sighs> mm -hmm. Yeah, make sure I don't stab my hand here. Okay, take a little moment and just kind of twist that around with the tip of your knife so that you've got a nice little space for blowing like into. That. So we fold it at a 90 degree angle. We can use a marky, marker or a piece of stick. roll that can up like so to roll that can up and that's going to give us something like that now what we want it's really important that we end up with this shape see how close those pieces are but not touching and we've got to close that off to make it a little bit closer, like that. Okay, that's the top view. From the side, we're creating a chamber like this. Only if it's going into your face hole, it should look like that. Well, no matter what you're doing, even if you're just making whistles for your little ones in the front yard out of your leftover Zoa cans, keep on training, stay safe out there, and remember, there is no such thing as a small adventure.